So during the uh, Texas cold snap we had a couple weeks ago, that happened. So I bought the car earlier this year pretty much. Carbon fiber was fine, didn't really notice any lifting there. Out of the blue, dropped to freezing temps and boom, this popped up. The rest of mine is honestly fine. I mean, yeah, it's got some on the edges right there. That door panel is fine. This, this is the second worst one right here, but I'm going to experiment with this one. I know at the dealer, it's like around 360 bucks. So if I remove the stuff and then uh, clear coat it over, I can just get a new one. So I'm going to try that first, show you all how it goes. This piece just pops right out. Went at it from the top right there. Some clips right there. Move this and see how it goes. Here you can see how it's lifting, so yeah. So it's coming off real easy, actually. I'm not having to use heat or anything. Uh, just using a plastic razor. It's just chipping off like this. See how thick that is. So yeah, pretty easy to remove so far. And it's done. Took about 15 minutes from start to finish. Hardest part was this top edge right here. And you can see the weave. I ended up using a, a steel razor. It was much easier to just lift. You have to be smart about it. Don't like gouge into the actual carbon fiber. Uh, just use pressure because it just lifts right off. So kind of shimmy it in between and then just wiggle it around. You can see it literally coming right off. So, wow. Gonna scuff this up a bit and then uh, get ready for clear. All right, so this is after wet sanding with 800 grit. I was reading that for like raw stuff that you're creating yourself, you wanna build up from like 220, but this is already a finished piece. So I'm just gonna go with 800, it's what I use for headlights. Had good results and this is gonna be in the car, so I'm not expecting nearly as much wear, but yeah, uh, pretty much ready to shoot now. Ready to spray the 2K clear right now. Kind of jank, but whatever. I still need to do those headlights too while I'm doing this. Be sure to wear a respirator. Shit gets in your kidneys. So, show you how it turns out. First layer, just a very fine tack coat. I don't know how carbon fiber is going to react, so just playing it safe there. Second coat here, you can see the orange peel, but overall it seems to be laying pretty damn nice. See, third and I think final coat, some trash in it, some orange peel, but that'll all come out during the cut and polish. Looking pretty good. After 24 hours sitting, can wet sand and polish now with 2000 grit. Might have gone a bit too thin on the clear coat with three coats. Can still kind of see the weaving there, but we'll see how it wet sands out. Kind of like that effect though. Yeah, looks pretty good. This is after the wet sand with 2000 grit. Turned out pretty good. Unfortunately, I went a bit, you can kind of see it right there to the right of the uh, reflection, but went through the clear right there. Then a little bit on the top, but overall from where you'll be looking at this, turned out pretty damn good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So back on the car, some texture to it, not that bad. It's not like the, uh mirror finish that the OEM is but you could get that mirror finish if you do a bit more coats I don't think three is enough just because you can kind of see right there in the center uh, where I kind of burn through but honestly I would probably go with like five uh, next time I do this and I probably will depending on how bad that gets but I don't want to remove the door panel yet yeah um, calling this one a success looks way better